In the context of Nick Cannon's recent revelations, he discusses an incident involving Jaden Smith. Think about all that Diddy has done for the culture. They asked me about Puff and I, I answered it as honestly as I knew how to answer it. I know these people, they're not just public figures to me. When it comes up, because just as much as I know Diddy, I know Cassie. I think what they brought up is like, I saw that I kind of was saying, I'm praying for Cassie, trying to find the high frequency in knowing the story, knowing the right thing to talk about. I was like, this is a someone who was hurt, who was victimized. But then when this question goes a little bit further, like, so what about Puff? It's like, I don't know how to feel about that. So what about Puff? It's like, I don't know how to feel about that. When I was going through my stuff, someone that called, checked on me, stood by me, stood up for me. And I was like, what do I owe? Well, what does that mean, stood by you, stood up for you? Well, when, when no one else would protect me or... Whether it's Puffy or whoever, you want to be their brother first, not their PR agent. Mm. Where Smith allegedly called Cannon to confront him about his relationship with Smith's ex-girlfriend. Kylie Jenner. Cannon recounted that Smith challenged him to a physical altercation over the phone, reflecting the intensity of emotions involved in personal matters among celebrities. Watch who benefited from it. Nick Cannon used to sleep on my couch. Wow. 13 years old. He'd be in one of the house. He'd be like, can I go back in there? You can't, uh, <laughs> the fuck back in there. You can't come in here. <laughs> this incident underscores the complex dynamics and high stakes in navigating relationships and conflicts within Hollywood circles where personal boundaries and public perception often intersect in dramatic ways. It's revealed that P. Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, has taken on a significant mentorship role in Jaden Smith's career, particularly in the music industry. As the hip-hop cop is joining me now with his thoughts on how this plays out. First, nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. So you know, you know Diddy, right? Yes. In what way? Uh, back in the 90s, uh, I was assigned to the NYPD. I was the, the hip-hop cop back then, so I had to assist in arresting him in several uh, instances where there were some crimes committed. What were those arrests for? Uh, one was the Club New York shooting. Uh, with uh, He was with JLo at the time. And the other one was the Steve Stout uh, assault that happened with MTV. Right. Okay, so I have some exclusive information which you just heard. The fact, uh, if it's true, that they found a lot of weapons at his homes, what do you think this could mean? Well, what happens here is that the feds, the federal government started a case with him. Apparently the search warrant that had his houses in Miami and L.A. was pre-planned already. They knew they were going to do that. So they have a much bigger case. What do you think? I mean, it just seems like the house of cards might fall for diddy right now it's not looking that great so i'm sitting here and i'm thinking and i'm like you know i'm about to go into this next era of my life and um i'm gonna be doing a lot of um positive things you know a lot of disruptive things um a lot of things i really don't want everybody like everybody to know about um so like on the gram everybody knows about everything you know, I want a deeper connection with my fans. So I came up with this idea. I was going to get a special phone number and I was going to be able to give it to my family, my fans, everybody that's down with the movements that I'm about. You know what I'm saying? The team love movement, you know, bad boy. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this and try to engage other men into acts with him. Jaguar isn't one to hold back, and you know this, but this time she's spilling all the tea. She's not only calling out Will and Jada as subpar parents, but also suggesting they've been somewhat harmful. According to her, Will supposedly sold Jada to Diddy. Jada Pinker has written a book mm -hmm. where she reveals that multiple times she tried to commit suicide. I don't know why she keeps trying. She just, just get it done. Shit. Don't be bad at everything. Shit. Yeah. You was an all right actress. You a terrible wife. You a bad mother. You a yeah. hag who knew that your husband was doing things to boys and did stuff to your son, and you ain't do shit about it. Bilal told me everything. Bilal told me, yeah. Jay. He told me that you knew Will was in your child. Yes, he did. Wonder why he left that out of his Tosh K interview. He said everything but the thing that was important. That he know that Will Smith raped Jaden Bashir and he raped Neek Mills. And you know it, Bilal. Their relationship extends beyond mere guidance. 
hinting at potential collaborative projects together. This mentor-protege dynamic not only underscores P. Diddy's influence on Jaden Smith's artistic development, but also highlights a deeper personal connection between the two. Prepare yourself for an explosive revelation involving Jaden Smith, his father Will Smith, and P. Diddy. You might recall a particular incident where Will Smith displayed paternal affection towards his son during an interview. However, this wasn't your typical father-son moment. No, it involved a kiss on the lips, and needless to say, Jaden was visibly embarrassed. This incident played out in front of the world, further fueling the already burning rumors. But that's not all. Rumors started surfacing about Jaden's concerns regarding the relationship between Diddy and his dad, something that seemed to worry Jaden. An insider whispered through the grapevine, revealing that Jaden had walked in on meetings between his father and Diddy. These encounters didn't seem like mere catch-ups between old friends. Now let's be clear that these are all hearsay and rumors. P. Diddy's mentoring appears to be a pivotal factor in shaping Smith's career trajectory, suggesting a fruitful collaboration that may yield exciting ventures in the future. Jaden Smith recently made headlines with explosive statements about his relationship with dad Will Smith and hip-hop mogul Diddy, painting a picture of familial turmoil and exploitation. Ryan like kiss you and stuff. I saw you guys on Ellen and you were like yeah, that a lot all the time. <laughs> so even on set he wasn't even trying to No, like, not on the set he wasn't trying to kiss me. But after the set he'll try to kiss me or <laughs> Who knew that your husband was doing things to boys and did stuff to your son and you ain't do shit about it. In a candid interview, Jaden hinted at feeling used by Diddy and implied a parallel in his dealings with his father, Will Smith, suggesting a complicated dynamic of trust and betrayal. It touches on Diddy's alleged involvement in controversial incidents, adding an element of scandal to the mix. Diddy and Jaden Smith frequently attend high-profile events together, often amidst swirling allegations and rumors. It would suggest that Diddy's gatherings are surrounded by secrecy and controversy, with implications of scandalous behavior. They know, like, if something crazy is going on, if they send it to me, I'm a, I'll make sure it get out there, like, as far as this 50 com is concerned. Yeah, yep. <laughs> and those other properties, so they sent it to me. It really kind of felt like those photographs were not happening because of Cassie. I felt like they was happening because of Puffy. Right, right. Despite this, both figures appear prominently in public media narratives. The federal agent discussed serious allegations against Diddy, implicating him in the abuse of minors, including Justin Bieber and Jaden Smith. The content suggests that the federal agent raided Diddy's properties in response to alleged tapes showing these abuses, which posed imminent danger to children. The raid was unusual in that it occurred without a prior arrest warrant, indicating the urgency perceived by law enforcement to seize potentially incriminating evidence. Furthermore, the transcripts mention Jaden Smith's allegations of abuse by Diddy, suggesting a broader pattern of exploitation within the entertainment industry. Talk to me about the timeline of how this typically works in terms of if we're seeing a, a raid on several properties, does that in conjunction with an arrest? Does that come before an arrest? Uh, does that, you know, how does it typically work? Typically, Jesse, it's in conjunction with an arrest. But I started thinking about this a little bit more last night, and I was, was thinking that if he has videos and or his associates have videos and they are attempting to distribute those of young male children or female children, that means that a child is in imminent danger. Mm. And so part of me wonders if this was done to stop that um, and that they will get to the arrest, obviously, at some point, um, because, you know, as you mentioned, typically these these warrants are served and there's usually an indictment that goes, you know, hand in hand with that at the same time. So in my opinion, it's not unheard of. It's just a little bit unusual. We don't typically right. see this. Anytime we did raids um, at the FBI of, of this nature, we ha also had an arrest warrant uh, for the individual as well. And so it is unusual, but I don't want to say it's unheard of. And again, I'm just speculating, but part of me wonders if this was still actively being distributed. Um, and if it is, they need to shut that down 
immediately. In a shocking turn of events, Kim Porter's sister, Tamia Porter, has emerged from the shadows to spill the tea on Diddy's alleged misdeeds with young artists, and it seems like no one is safe from her claims, not even the pop sensation, Justin Bieber. During a recent interview that had jaws dropping left and right, Kim Porter's sister laid out a series of jaw-dropping accusations against the hip-hop mogul Diddy. According to her, there's more to Diddy's glamorous facade than meets the eye. She claimed that he engaged in unspeakable acts with young and impressionable artists, and one of those artists just happened to be none other than the heartthrob Justin Bieber himself. The conversation also touches on Jaden Smith's troubled upbringing and strained relationship with his father Will Smith amidst allegations of familial dysfunction and emotional neglect. The narrative weaves together claims of sexual abuse, drug use, and familial betrayal, portraying a complex web of allegations against prominent figures. Jaden Smith hints at troubling situations involving figures like Diddy and his father, have sparked speculation and gossip within celebrity circles. Allegations suggest discomfort during events like Diddy's parties, where Jaden reportedly felt at risk and even mentioned feeling rescued by DJ Feed Severarde, aka Fed, these implications have fueled discussion about the influence on young stars like Jaden, raising questions about parental oversight and the darker side of celebrity lifestyles. However, detailed public statements of explicit accusations from Jaden Smith himself have not been forthcoming, leaving much of the discussion in the realm of rumor and speculation.